What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and I am back with another Dynasty video. This time, we're going to take on uh, SMU today to kick off the conference season. I'm going to give a little time for everybody to come in here before we get started. I need to fix a couple things while we're doing that. Just need to make a couple of adjustments in my settings. Go over here. Let's see. We'll go here. Turn that on. Click done, customization here and here, and I think that is it for that. All right, again, welcome in everybody, and uh, let's get this show on the road now. In the last video, we took on Colorado in just an epic matchup, a really crazy game, just a lot of back and forth, quarter by quarter, as you can see here in the first quarter. We took care of business, got a, a big lead. Then in the second quarter, it was the exact opposite. We couldn't do anything right. Colorado got back in it and got the lead. Third quarter, kind of the same thing. We just didn't know what to do with it. But then the fourth quarter happened, and we got 21 points. They didn't get any, and it was essentially the final play of the game. We was able to get the win. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go back. It was just a wild game, to say the least. One that will not be forgotten by the living fan, for sure. And that puts us up to 2-0 and on the season. Now, today, again, we are going to take on SMU to kick off the conference season. And as you can tell, they got a lot less talent than we do. Hopefully, we can take care of business today. As you can see, they don't have anything good to say about their stats. Uh, so, if I'm not mistaken, they run a 4-3 defense. I think they're a spread offense as well. So let's go, before we do that, let's go to end season recruiting. You would think that Colorado win should help us. We are going after four guys, starting off with center Scott Brown. We're at the top of his list, so we are in really good shape there. You go to the wide receiver, Darren Walker. We Nothing has changed for him, apparently, and we don't know anything about him, but we'll still continue to go after him. And we're number two on this list anyway, so why not? And let's uh, look at uh, tackle... Kurt Johnson, we are number one on his list, which is good. So 25 points seems to be doing the trick with him. And we don't have a positive pitch yet. Then, last but not least, we got middle linebacker John Larson. I'm more excited about him than about any other, just because he's so big for that position. And I think he can be a perfect defensive end, too, down the road whenever we could get to that point, if we need him to play defensive end, but he's already trimmed down to his top five. We don't have a positive pitch yet, but we don't have a negative one either. So I feel like we're in great shape for all four of these guys. We can go to Sports Illustrated, check some things out. Let's go to uh, top 25 polls. We can look at the top 10 at least. Miami, Oklahoma, USC, Iowa, LSU, Georgia Tech, Florida, Ohio State, Purdue, and Virginia. Now, one thing I do want to see is... How close are we to the top 25? I figure we're going to get kind of close. Now, we're not on this list yet, but in time, we will be, as long as we keep winning. That's the key. So let's go check out the Heisman watch, see if anything has changed here. Uh, looks like you got Brian Brom, then you got uh, Craig Davis, wide receiver at LSU, which we're going to take on here in a few weeks. Then you have uh, Virginia Tech, a halfback, George Bell. Uh, AP went down for whatever reason, but he's still in the top five. And then you got a wide receiver out of Miami, Ryan Moore. Let's check out uh, national players of the week, at least. We'll go here. Uh, middle linebacker for Virginia Tech. Had a good game. And Colorado halfback. Of course he did. This is the guy we went up against. We couldn't shut down the run game. He broke every kind of tackle you could think of. Their offensive line done a great job just creating holes and such. And he ended up with six touchdowns. And we still got the win somehow. <laughs> I guess you got to outscore teams in the end. Okay, let's go check out conference standings. Now, in terms of actual conference standings, I really don't want to see a whole lot. There really hasn't been any conference team movement going on. None of the teams have played each other yet. So what we can do is at least look at the team info screen. Welcome in, Justin. Uh, we can check out our team info screen. Ricard, Forte, and Cooper, I'm afraid that's going to stay the same all season. And that's not a bad thing. I think it's going to stay pretty consistent unless something happens on the receiving side. But I think Cooper's going to get a lot of touches this year. Just the way our offense is set up, that slot receiver gets the ball quite a bit. Now, in terms of the defensive leaders, I think that's going to change quite a bit. With sacks, interceptions, who knows what's going to happen there. With tackles, it'll be one of the linebackers, I would imagine. 
Now let's check out SMU. I assume they're somewhere. Here they are. They got a couple injuries. They got one of the cornerback, and they got a middle linebacker out. Uh, their last game, they got beat by North Texas. They haven't won a game yet. As you can see, they're 0-2. You look at their quarterback, not doing much of anything. Running back, 89 yards a game. We'll see if he's an impact guy or not. And nobody's really doing much on the receiving front. On the defensive side, they got one guy doing tackles, leading tackles, and in sacks, and that's kind of it, really. Now, one thing before we head into it, the game is in my last stream i was working on the master playbook version three and i have this in progress so what you're going to see today nothing's changed in terms of the formations for the playbook but i worked on plays for gun trips over gun trips and gun five wide so you're going to see some new plays today and i experimented with some towards the end of that stream i think they all worked pretty well there may be a couple things I may need to fix, but it'll be a while before I release that. But you're going to at least see a preview of some of these new plays. So I wanted to point that out. All right, uh, let me look at the chat room real quick before we head into the game. Uh, can you put Williams in a little more coming out of the backfield for catches? He has some pretty good speed. Uh, I, I can. It just depends on what the defense gives me. I already have him in some of the formations where he can catch the ball anyways. So I'm not too worried about that. And Forte is just as good as he is with that. Uh, crazy how you aren't ranked. That was an all-time classic. Yes. Okay. Let's head into the game. What we can do. Uh, let's see. Let's go SMU. We'll just do that. We are going to speed this up a little. And we can look at our formations here in a little bit about that Williams situation. Okay. Looks like we got some players in trouble. Uh, maybe just one. Left tackle, Derek Rogers. He is our best lineman. And let's see what he did. All right, Rogers' GPA is a concern. His tutors tell us that he has, he has no desire to do what it takes to make the grades. I guess we can help remind him how important grades are. Well, that really bumped up our NCAA team interest. It used to be like right here, and it almost doubled, and I don't like that. So what we can do, let's check out our schedule and then our depth chart before we head into the game. I'm going to go back out, and let's go, yes, let's go to our schedule. SMU, he'll definitely not play today. Then we got Houston. Can we beat Houston? We will need him in order to beat them more than likely. Then we got UTIP at 0-1-1. So I have to be kind of cautious about how we're going to do this. Uh, I would like to suspend him for at least maybe a couple games. I want to get that bar down. That's the big thing. And what worries me is when you go to rosters and you check out our depth at tackle, it's non-existent. It's Rodgers, and then we got pretty much this guy or this guy will take his spot. And that's a humongous drop-off. So, uh, we can go back and check out play, uh, go to play week. We'll go here, take action, and select this. And I'm going to do uh, two, three, let's do two games. You see, if you just do one game, look, you notice right here. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess it's not going to show me the difference. I may go... I'd like to do two games, honestly, but I don't know if we can beat Houston without him. That's the key. I'm just not really sure. If we just do one game, that's not a huge difference. I feel like the bar didn't go down hardly at all if we didn't discipline, any, discipline, discipline him any. Uh, I think I'm going to do two games. I just don't know if we could beat Houston anyways. I mean, we probably can if we play great. I'm just not really sure. I think I may do the two games. I got. I care more about getting that bar down. I'm thinking long-term for recruiting and less points we have to spend on discipline. And here's your chance to at least help a little bit here. So I think I'm going to do uh, two games. I'd like to do three, to be honest, but we'll do two. Let's just do two. I'm okay with that. All right, let's head into it. So that is an issue. Uh, we're going to check our left tackle position. I think my backup right tackle is a little bit better than my left backup right or backup tackle. So we'll check that out once we get to the depth chart. I'll have to make that adjustment twice, I guess, unless I do it outside of the game. And it's not even a televised game. All right, let's head straight to the coin toss. They want it, and they will receive it which is fine by me it doesn't matter about the wind because we are inside 
Let's go to our left tackle position. This guy, let's see, uh, run block and power, uh, pass block, 78, 82. And here's the other guy. Uh, looks like Crowpog is actually better. He's got better run blocking. But I bet he's got less awareness because of that. His awareness is just a little bit lunder. So I think I may just keep Crowpog over there. That's not a huge difference. They're practically the same guy anyway. So I think I'm okay with keeping Crowbog as my backup. Discipline points out. You're just trying to get the bar down. That's all that really matters with that. Uh, let's see. Yes, the dome is getting a little bit bigger. All right, let's go check out their roster. Starting quarterback. Bit of a dual threat guy. 74 speed. He's a lefty, but I'm not too worried about him running around. Halfback, 78, 76, 72. At least we don't have an impact guy back there. Then you have uh, fullback. Well, let's see. You see that the new version of the standalone NCAA 06 made it so the transfer players can play right away. Yes, I, I saw that, but there's some things I don't like about the ISO that I, I just don't want to bother with it. Uh, wide receiver, they got an impact guy. This guy's still here. He's the guy. He came with some fits last year, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty decent wide receiver core. And then you have a tight end. Nothing special here. Nobody can really catch. Tackle, 80, 74, 70, 68, and 85. A really good right tackle. The rest of them, not so much. They run a 4-3, so 80 and 84 on the ends, 76 and 74. A defensive tackle. I may be able to go up the gut a little bit, but I'm not very strong up the middle either. Linebackers, 70, 68, 76. Ooh, this really helps. This guy's out. He's the starter for them, and it's a drop-off after him. Right outside linebacker, 70. And the corners, 82. He's out. Wow, that's just a bad break for them. They're two of their best defenders are out today. Impact free safety. We'll try to stay away from him some. And there's a bad strong safety that we could probably attack today. Uh, let's see. Kicker, 48. Punter at 70. Just nothing special there. All right. Uh... Let's see. Let's go to resume game. And let's get this show on the road. Looks like they got a, an impact guy on the right side. I'm going to kick it over here. Kick it away from him. Do that. Uh-oh. This ain't good. Good. I made the tackle with the kicker. <laughs> uh, let's go. I'm going to do a lot of zone today. I'm going to let this quarterback try to do his thing. I'm going to see if we can pick some things off. I don't think they're going to throw or run the ball a ton. I could be dead wrong. With their impact wide receiver, I'm assuming they're going to throw. He's wide open over here. Good open field tackle, but he picks up about seven. And we got a player hurt just like that. Injured his shoulder. Well, cross your fingers. Hopefully nothing serious about that. Let's go. Uh, we'll stay in quarters at a nickel again. Do something like this. Going five wide. Well, that ain't good. Now we're really down at the middle linebacker position. Let's see if Smith isn't seriously injured. Ooh, that should have been picked. Pick that off next time. Third and two will go cloud. I think they're still going five wide. Ooh, they're doing that. Dang it. And the face man. Ooh, they didn't call it. Wow, we got super lucky there. How is that not a first down? Weird play here. So it said they went four wide receiver, one tight end, yet we was able to get through there somehow. Good job by the freshman right there, and I'm surprised that wasn't a face mask. That was super close to a first down, but it wasn't. And guess what? Oh, awesome. So just like that, we're going to get the ball. Yes, that definitely should have been a pick six. Oh, just... True freshman just didn't get a bite on it. Maybe we can get a decent return here. Somebody get a block on that dude. Ain't going to happen. We'll just do that. Let me fix a couple of things. Let me fix that. And the only other one I got to fix is like maybe something like that. <coughs> Gee whiz. <coughs> oh, woo. Okay. Okay. They're going zone dime. I'm going to do halfback direct. I'm going to get a drink of water here in a minute. <clears throat> Let me get a drink of water. I don't know what happened. Choke down something. Oh, my gosh. All right. 
Uh, so what is that? Second and eight, maybe? Second and eight. We'll stay in this formation. Now, one thing you notice that some of the graphical things are off. I'll have to fix that later. Okay, this is the new P read. I fixed a couple different things. I think I may th run this one. Oh, terrible. I should have just threw it. My bad, my bad. Well, I guess we're going to do deep cross up. Let's see if we can attack that strong safety. Not feeling a whole lot of heat. Just a bad throw. Poor record. Poor record. Well, that was a terrible start, so let's punt it. That was just bad all around. And he is an impact guy. I'm afraid he will return this one easily. I'm going to high kick this thing a little bit. So they're going to get decent field position. Okay, we're going to try to do basic runs on the next go round. Uh, let's do a zone blitz. I'm going to try something like this, perhaps. Let's see if I can go after him. Haven't heard anything on Smith yet. I guess he's back. We'll check that here. Good tackle by Harrison. I think he's back. I think he's 52. He's not back. What's the deal? This ain't good. Oh, my golly. We have nobody at middle linebacker. Like, nobody. You go to our depth chart... I swear, that really stinks. Like, we got no depth there. I'm going to have to bring, after four weeks, we got no choice. We got to bring Nixon out. I hate to do that. But we got no choice. So we're going to have Nixon, true freshman Nixon play. Dang, four weeks. Thankfully, one of those is a bye week, but I feel like I got no choice but to do this. He's just much better than Charles. So... Uh, let's go formation subs. Let me check something really quick. I guess we got no choice but to do that. Uh, I may put... Uh, yeah, we got no choice. We just don't have any depth anywhere. Well, that stinks. Well, this is just a bad start out of the gate. Oh, he's running left. Oh, that's right. He's a left-handed quarterback, so he would naturally run to his left. Third and six. Can we get a stop here? That would be great. So, yep, there goes Smith out for a month. But we do have a bye week in that, so that's not going to be too terrible. I can't get around the tackle. And he got out of bounds. Good deal. So I think they're going to punt it. They are. I'm going to do... I'm going to try the all-out block. I don't think they're going to fake it. If they do, caduce to them if they do so. I don't blame them if they do but this is usually when they don't come at to protect oh nobody went in to block dang it everybody get out of the way on this one. Ooh, we got lucky and we got another play he's our middle linebacker our backup middle linebacker got hurt what's going on now all of our middle linebackers are out gee whiz so we're on the 20 Oh my gosh, what's going on? All right, man nickel. Hopefully he doesn't, he's not seriously hurt. Uh, I'm a little worried about, uh, get out of the way. Get about nine yards there. Uh, let's stay here and I have not fixed this formation, not technically. Let's go toss. I'm going to switch something a little bit here in a minute. I may have to bring somebody over to help out on the blocking. Something like this. Just get a first down there. From here, let's go. Let's back something out. Let's do. Let's go gun normal for a little bit. Let's go P. Reed. They're going man. 4-3. I... Oh, dang it, I should have just... I, You don't have time to make a decision there. You have to decide beforehand. And that was just the wrong decision, apparently. I should have threw it, I guess. Well, let's go. It's just second and 12, so I'm not too worried about that. Go tidy and dig. 
going zone on this one. Terrible throw. Kylie Ricard. Throw it at his feet. Third and nine. I guess we got no choice. We got to go tight end cross. And my middle linebacker's out for a week. So I'm out of middle linebackers. So I have no answer for that. Uh, we'll do something like this. Cover two. Dang it! Dang it! What? Look at my both tackles right here. Both of my tackles. Boom. Jump the snap I get. It's just awful. I had, I mean, I couldn't do anything there, so we're going to have to punt it. If your offensive line can't protect, you got no chance. Do something like this. He's going to get decent field position, but at least he's not going to return it. Eh, it's okay position. Well, off to a terrible start just all around. We're going to need a break or two somewhere to get some points on the board. So now I'm really hurting that middle linebacker. I just got nobody else. He makes a tackle, but... Got to stay in quarters. Wow, 12 total yards. That's about pathetic, but it is what it is. Let's sprint him out. Yeah, the East Coast stuff, I'd like to use it, and I try to use it on that one play, but Ricard made a bad throw. That tight end delay route, or delay play, that's an East Coast-ish concept. Didn't matter. Made a bad throw. Bad throw there, thankful. So neither quarterback's playing well at the moment. Uh, third and nine. Let's go, Cloud. Uh, we'll do something like this. Maybe we can get another stop. Face mask. I swear. <laughs> Five yarder, first and ten. Oh my gosh, just goofiness all around and not in a good way. Now we're back to this. Let's see if somebody can make a play out there. Halfback dive, just terrible, terrible, terrible. Everybody got a push on that one. Look at that. Look at this push across the board. Like nobody could get through. Not a single soul. 38 seconds. Let's go, I guess, back to quarters. I'm going to try to bait this guy into a pick. If possible. Oh, my gosh. That's two pick sixes right there. Two. Oh, my gosh. Two pick sixes. Somebody answer that question for him. I'm trying to <laughs> play a game here. This is the emulator. I'm playing on the PC. Intercept that. That was just a lame duck throw. I don't know what happened there. Uh, third and ten. Let's go, Cloud. Hold him to a field goal, maybe. My, this right tackle done a number on me the last time. They, again. Wow. Just awful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No answers for it. Other we're just getting out outplayed. Uh, it said they was going four wide and they went... Oh, why does it do that? Out of bounds on that one. Um, I don't think it matters. I think they're probably going to score unless we just get lucky. I think they're going to do off tackle here, so I'm going to control defensive tackle. Nope, they're going to pass. Bad throw. So it's third and short. Uh, they're going... I'm going to do an all-out blitz. 
This may be really dumb. Good stop. All right, we can hold them to a field goal at least. Do something like this. Ugh, what are we going to do on offense? I mean, I'm sure we can get some points on offense. I'm not worried about our... I think our defense will still be kind of okay, but we got to help our defense out some on offense because right now we can't do anything correct. All right, uh, we can try. We can do some more short West Coast type stuff. Help our offensive line a little bit. No protection there, no blocking. Uh, we can go. Let's go halfback streak. This is a different one, a, a, a fixed one, kind of, sort of. For going zone. Not feeling a whole lot of heat here. Ricard, you, you're an impact quarterback. Make a decent throw. I'm not asking for much. Um, let's do a toss. Let's go man. Let's see. I like the shift. I have to toss that one. Get a block there. Good run by Forte. Let's go. I'm going to see if he can. Let's go back here. Let's go half back out. Let's see if he can handle this throw. We're going zone nickel. Get some yards there, not a whole lot. Oh, uh, we can stay here. We can go P read. Zone dime. I would love to throw it or run it, but I don't trust our line, honestly. I'm, I'll probably play this one simple. Ooh, just good catch. Not a good throw. He had to jump up to get that one. Uh, we can try halfback dive. And, and, and they, of course, they go 4-3 on a run. We're going to have to run this to the right, maybe. Not a whole lot there. Uh, second and seven. Let's do a speed option with him. More 4-3. That makes sense. They know I'm going to run it. I got no choice but to go right. Just awful. What was that? Um, third and forever. Let's go slot cross. What worries me is we're going to go up against this free safety. We'll go over here. And uh, my left tackle. Good throw. Good job, Ricard. Good job, Ricard. a boy. Okay. Let's go. We're going to go trips over the rest of the way. We're going to go with a screen. Double screens. We're going zone 4-3. I'd love to see them blitz hard. He done a shovel pass for no reason. Get out of bounds. I'm not letting that dude make a play on me. Uh, second and five on the six. I don't know if they're going to go... You notice this right here, how messed up it is. I think that's just a... I may have to just change the route or something. All right, they're going man-dime. I'm going to run it. Dang it. Gosh, left tackle. Thank you, left tackle. Let's go tight end dig. And they're going zone. Dang it, dang it, dang it. This ain't going to work. Uh, just a bad, it's not even a good throw. I got to kick a field goal. I'm afraid we can't get that on the three. Let's just kick the field goal. Dang it. We're in for a dog fight, I'm afraid. We're just too limited in certain spots. We're, our left tackle is out. Our two middle linebackers are out. So let's just get some points. What audibles do you want me to call? Audibles ain't going to help me in this situation. You still got to execute. All right, let's uh, go over here. 
kick it over in this direction. Let's go here. Go quarters. I would love to set up audibles, but I just I can't set up when you got too many different formations going. No, nobody was sitting over there. Uh, we'll just stay in quarters, I guess. It's second and inches, so who knows what they'll call here. But as you can tell, they're running the ball, or throwing the ball a lot more than they're running it. Now watch them running it here. If I stayed in one formation or two formations the entire game, I would do more audible type stuff, but just doesn't set up well. well. Look at this block, and we got another player hurt. My goodness. We're running out of players. I'm tired of yelling. Man, this is getting old. Let's go zone blitz. I hate yelling all the time, but man, they're just, the game's forcing me to do so. Don't run to the this way. Off the back foot. Still makes the catch. Second and four. Uh, let's go quarters again. Try to keep everything in front of us. Do something like this. Thankfully, he overthrew it. I did not play that one well. Third and four. Let's see if we can get a stop here. Going cloud. And we got a defensive tackle after the game. I mean, we're just running out of players. Almost intercepted. That's three interceptions that we could have had. And it didn't happen. I'm glad I hit him when I did. Just unfortunate we didn't get the interception. But that's okay. We got the stop. So where are they? They're on the 41. I'm going to try another all-out block. We may have a chance to sneak in and get a a block, possibly. I usually can get about one a year. But they're coming in to protect this time. I like the angle. Can Batiste get over there quickly? Get some yards, not a whole lot. I'm going... No, we can't attack that free safety. Thank it, he's too good. We can try. Where are we at? We haven't done... The five wide thing is not going to help me a whole lot at the moment. We don't have the enough wide receivers to do it. Uh, we can try. Trips attack. This is a different version of it that I fixed. They're going man. Ooh, let's see. Get a few yards, not a whole lot. Second and six. I may go back to P.E. Reed. Zone dime. I'd love to run it, but our, our offensive line is just playing terrible so far. So let's just throw it. I don't know what to do about that. Third and six. Uh, let's, let's go half back out. And they're going zone. I may have to go over the middle here to get a first down. Let's hot route Gidros. Let's see if they're going cover two. I should have went underneath. Just good defense. And just like that, we got to punt some more. Because our offense can't do squat today. Oh my gosh, just dreadful football. Just awful. Somebody get a stop. They got a minute to go. Go quarters. We'll do something like this. Good job, Al. Good job. Good defense. Second and ten. They keep spreading us out, so I feel like I kind of keep doing quarters. Uh, we'll do something like this. Thank the Lord a bad throw. So neither quarterback is playing all that great. And one of them's an impact guy, and he's just not feeling it. Sometimes he's making good throws. Other times, not so much. Get a stop here. Maybe we can get the ball back and get some points before half. Get a stop, though. Let's call a timeout. 
Force the punt. I'm going to do an all-out block again. Hopefully, then it'll come at your protect. Let's do something like this. Oh, my gosh. So close. Get in the end zone. There you go. All right. We got 40 seconds and, what, three timeouts? Two timeouts. Let's go cross up. Last time we called this play, he made a really bad throw. Let's see if we can do this again. Not feeling a whole lot of heat. Good throw. Good throw. Let's just get out of bounds. 34 seconds. Let's go here. If I can get to it. RB deep. We're going man. And we're going to hot route Cooper deep. But they're going to cover one. Second and ten. Just dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful. I'll tell you what we can do. You mentioned, let's go game strategy. Let's go formation subs. Uh, let's go here. I'm going to put Williams here. That way we can get him. I know we got one play in here that we can just bounce the ball to him if needed. Like tight end dig. But it's going zone, so he's not even going to get the ball in this one. All right, no big deal. Let's go right here. Go to our tight end. And we're going to have to call another timeout. We got no choice. Uh, we'll go offensive line, 30 inches. We're going to go with the halfback screen. We're going man. We're going somebody on the left. Cover zero. Get it, Cooper. Get it. Six points. Ah, yes. Right before the half. Great play. Good job, Ricard. Good, son. Good for you. That was a great throw. They went cover zero, so we had a, a cover zero beater with the go. And thankfully, that wasn't against that free safety. Ah. Okay. Let's kick an extra point. Let's get back on defense and survive those 20 seconds. Before we head to half and look at some stats. Do something like that. Just like Josh Heifel's offense. You got like 18 seconds, no big deal. We can get downfield and score on you. We had plenty of time to spare, too. Let's go get over here. Uh, this may go right down the middle. Nope, even further that way. He's going to return it. This may get a stop over there. He went the other way. Nice. He should have kept going straight. 17 seconds. I don't know what they're going to call here. Let's just go quarters. I think they may throw. I agree, cliche. The problem, well, it's not a problem. The thing is, my kicker is my punter, who's like a 91 overall. Somebody get a stop. Gee whiz. And they went run. Now they got 10 seconds. I'm going to take a real chance here. I'm going to go zone blitz. I'm going to see if I can go after this guy really quick. He's going to throw it. And this isn't Hail Mary. Get a sack. Good deal. They're going to call a timeout, probably. Four, and they call the timeout. Now they're going to go Hail Mary. So we're going to go Nickel Man. We're going to back everybody out. Do something like this. And hope for the best. Keep everything in front of you. Somebody get him. Oh, this ain't good. Interception. Good deal. Get to the half. Up a touchdown. Okay. 10-3. to 3. That was a weird, goofy first half. Not pretty at all. Neither team looked the part, that's for sure. Three deep coverage, not man cover three, that's what you're asking. Plenty of zone cover three. Let's go to stance and scores. Just not a whole lot of offense going on. I would love to run the ball. We need to run the ball more, I guess. Uh, I'm just our offensive line. I, with our left tackle, yeah, that really worries me. Uh, but 148 yards passing. Neither team is doing great on third down. We don't have any turnovers. That's a positive. The rest of that doesn't say a whole lot to me. Let's go. Man, dang it. Let's go to individual stats. 10 of 16, one touchdown, no interceptions. But 
Some of those were either drop balls or just really bad throws all around. Uh, running the ball, Forte. Williams has got one rush. He probably needs a couple more. Forte needs some more. Receiving, it's, it's the Cooper show, but that's just kind of what they're giving us at the moment. I'd love to throw to Brown or to Gidros, but Gidros, he had what? A drop pass. Uh, Cooper had a drop. Just, it is what it is. Defensively, Charles, four tackles, leading that, tackles for loss. Bell and Harrison, Sacks, Harrison. And we got one interception by Gooseby, and that was right before the half. All right, let's just head right into the third quarter. We need to get a score here of some sort. We need to stretch the lead. We're going to try to return this. Uh, nah, that's too deep. I'm not going to bother. The way our uh, blocking is on kickoffs, it hasn't been very good. I'm just not going to deal with it. Let's do cross post. They're going man, which is okay. Uh, let's try. Let's go to Forte. He was wide open. So we're going to get a first down. Good play there. Uh, we can stay here. Let's just keep throwing. I know I eventually got to run, but as long as Ricard makes his throws, we'll have no problems. Good catch, but just nowhere to go. Well, I guess it wasn't the best throw either. Uh, let's go. Let's get Williams on the outside if we can. Yeah, they're going zone, though. This probably isn't going to work. And uh, we'll go to the right. Just no blocking whatsoever. I don't know what happened there. Nobody decided to block. Third and ten. Just a terrible drive out of the gate. Let's see if we can do something with this. They're going zone. Got to be careful. I'm going to try to throw this to Cooper over the middle. They're doing that. Just awful throw, Ricard. Awful. Awful throw. I didn't put any juice on it or anything. He just threw it in front of him. Just a bad throw by Ricard. That's all that is right there. He was open. And now here they come. Oh, poor Ricard. Impact quarterback, and he just sometimes just looks awful. <laughs> and yes, I'm bashing my quarterback for not playing well, and it is okay to do that. The quarterback tried to run there and couldn't go anywhere. So what we're going to do, I think when we get back on offense, we're going to just try to run some more, even if it gets stopped. I don't know what else to do. Or just try to give Ricard easier throws, maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. It just stinks when your best player is just not making plays out there. Shoot. Third and one now. More halfback direct than they have to. Uh, they're doing... We're going to do a cover one. It said they was going too wide. I swear, why does it do that? And that's another pick. Come on, you got to catch those. That's why all these guys play on defense. I swear. That's four interceptions we could have had today. And they all drop. I'm going to do this. I've, I've been told this is what I'm supposed to do against the goal line. They're going to go through the strong side. That's just my fault. I should have let the CPU handle it. I swear. I don't know what it is, but I'm just playing so bad. My team ain't playing good. I'm not helping them out. I don't know. I, I, I didn't mean to try to take him over. That wasn't my intent. I normally try to keep with the same guy, but it didn't matter. We had an interception, so they was just probably going to get their score anyways. And just like that, they've tied it up. So the third quarter is an awful start. And this is the only, this is one of the downsides to me doing live stream, and I hate getting upset about this stuff. It's frustrating, but I don't like doing it, especially in front of everybody. But I don't want to pretend either. I can't fake it. I mean, I can only react to what I'm playing. Okay. Um, I feel like we got to do. Let's try to do more toss. Try to get to the outside, maybe. I'm trying to stay away from my offensive line. That's why I want to get to the outside quickly. Fixing to get sacked right there or tackled. Can he get the touchdown? I think he may get it. He's going to get caught right there. Stay in. 
and Ricard is hurt. <laughs> Off a toss. That makes complete sense. It's probably, it, it says this is chess. It's probably not serious. Oh my gosh. Let's go counter. Zone 4-3. I'm going to run to the right. I feel like we got no choice. No blocking there. Uh, we're on the 27. Let's try. Tight end streaks. He's coming back. They're going man. They're doing that. So this is going to go to this guy right there, Gidros. Now, where are we? It's third and five. Uh, let's do direct. We can try it from here. What worries me is, I don't know. We'll just see if this works or not. Dang it, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to call a timeout. It's just not going to work. Third and five, it ain't going to do it there. On the 22, we're going to try something else. And they're going man. I swear. We may have to... Dang it, they went with the... Touchdown. No, you got to be kidding me. You can't drop those. I hate yelling. I hate getting frustrated over this. That was a good throw, too. Now I got to punt it. Or kick a field goal. Thank you, Gidros. You're supposedly our best receiver and you can't catch a pass. Let's try this. Get some points out of it. Oh, my gosh. All right. We got the lead back. Let's get back on defense. Oh, it's such a struggle. Kick it over to this guy. That's going to be a touchback, and that's all because I got a really good kicker. It's not because of me. I'm not doing anything special there. But I, my timing of the button presses is good. I will say that. All right, let's do something like this. We'll go, we'll stay in quarters again. I think they're going to throw some more. I think. We'll do something like that. Shift them over just in case. Oh, ow, ow. That was just all my fault. Of course, our defensive line could not get any push whatsoever. They finally went with something like this. Let's do a zone blitz. And they're going gun trips over, which you can't blitz off of hardly. So this may not work. Say they picked up the blitz perfectly. Get it seven yards. Uh, let's go quarters and a nickel. Don't run it, please. I'm going to stay in just in case. Dive. Went dive. Look at all that space he's got. Let's do another zone blitz. I would. I like the idea of that, Laverge, but sometimes I can actually get a pick six or something, get an interception with that dude, but sometimes I can't. It's kind of all random anyways. That's another reason why I like to control linebacker, so I can blitz, get a sack. Second and 16. We can try... Uh, let's just do quarters. I can control a defensive end here. I like. I have to control linebackers in cores. Otherwise, they drop back too easily. Wow. That was an easy pickup. So that's now, what, third and four? Third and five. We'll go cloud. Let's see if I can go after the, the quarterback again. If they're smart, they'll run it. I would be shocked if they didn't. He's got all day to throw. Dang it. Somebody make a play back there. Overshot it. But where are they? They're on the 44. <laughs> we'll do an all out block. We're going to do something like this. Somebody get through. We'll fair catch it. Everybody just kind of get out of the way. Ooh, look where that's at. Oh my gosh, that's not good. 
on the four. Let's go slam. Got to be real careful down here. I'm going to go to the right unless they shift super hard. Yeah, we're going to still go to the right. Just take your time with it. Get up field with Forte. Good play there. We're going to do a basic toss with him. Just kind of get away from our offensive line. Zone 4-3. I'm going to run to the right. Even that, I'm still going to run to the right. Just because, again, our offensive line is weakest. If I can get to it on the right side. Just get some yards there if possible. Now, here's what I'm going to try to do on this one. Second and nine. I call this for this one play alone. PE tight end choice. They're going zone. I hope they go cover two here so I can hit Brown. Going cover two. Good catch, Brown. Pretty decent throw as well. That was the whole point of that right there, setting that play up. I threw it a little too late. We got lucky on that catch, I guess. First and 10. Now what we could do is let's get back to the gun and do some more stuff. They're going zone dumb. Like, I would love to run it, but I'm not going to run towards our left tackle. Just a good play. Good defense. Right tackle got beat badly on that one. He didn't know who to defend, I guess. Or who to block. And we're up a field goal. Second and 10. Let me think. Uh, we can do more half. I need to get a better halfback direct formation. I don't have any of them in here that's really good. This one isn't the best in the world just because they all shift to that side a lot. Like, they're going man right here. Watch them shift on this one. So he's blitzing. We're going to have to go to the left. We got lucky on that one. I'm not going to let him make a play. Let's just get out of bounds. From here, I am... I'm going to go after that strong safety. That's a weakness of them. Let's go halfback streak. We're going zone. We're going to go after that safety if we can, if they're going to let us. No hard blitzing. That's good. That's a good defensive play. I'm not going to fault Brown for that one. Second and 10. Let's do a toss with Forte. Zone. But I like the shift. I'm going to leave it as is. Dang it. Dang it. I got blocked right there. Get him. Just good run. Weird play right here. We'll go back and look at this one. This was really weird. So I was going to actually treat this as an option play. But my quarterback got stuck. My center is so bad. He got stopped easily. But thankfully, we was able to get out of that jam. And I was able to work around my blocks. Goofy. All right. It is first and 10. We are going to... Go halfback screen. We're going zone. We're going to bounce it to over to Williams. The clock has stopped. Go over there. Get a good gain. Where are we? We're on the five. Let's go slot screen. We're going zone. The clock is stopped still. High snap. I snap. I snap. Center. Center, center. Now it's third and seven. Uh, I'm not going to do anything goofy here. Let's go. Please go man. We're going to see if they try this. They're going man. But they're going dime, so this is going to be a good play for them, I think. I'm going to bring this guy over. This is going to go to Williams. Six points. <laughs> they went man. If they would have went zone, we probably wouldn't have scored a touchdown there. But they went man. Thankfully, that linebacker couldn't get close enough to him. He tried to go for the swat as well. I tell you what I need to do. I need to switch out gun five wide for gun spread. That gives me another halfback direct. It gives me another flare route with a halfback. And I'm not using any five wide at the moment. Because we don't have the wide receivers for it. So I'm essentially wasting my time with gun five wide this season. So I think that's what I'll do. We'll switch out gun five wide for gun spread. That opens up a whole lot more things for us too. Alright. 
stretch the lead a bit, just enough. That's a good kick. That will be a touchback. Uh, let's go here. Let's do something like this. We're up 10. All right, four minutes to go. Let's see if we can close this thing out strong. Good job, Al. Good job. That's why I like to play linebacker. I feel like I can make more positive plays than negative. At defensive end, I feel like I'm kind of useless, but I don't really hurt the team either. It's just, it's a give or take. That's why I like to play linebacker. That's why, right there. If I can make a play like that, just one a game, I can really turn everything on its head. Just waiting for that hitch, get in front of it. If I didn't control him, it's possible he would have dropped it like every other defender has today. And they've all been CPU players, but that's why they all play defense because they can't catch. Hopefully that split this thing wide open and it'll be too tough for them to come back. Let's go back and kick it over to this other guy. Pretty strong kick here. Another touchback. Again, I got a really good kicker. That helps. Uh, I'm going to do a zone blitz. They're giving me the opportunity to do so. But they're doing that. That ain't going to work. Let me try this instead. I'm going to control the defensive end. Maybe the CPU can get there better than I can. Oh, the good play. Ah, dang it. Ow. Then you make plays like that. So it's always an off and on deal. And guess what? We got another player hurt. Another defensive player. Starter, defensive end, and Harrison. Thankfully, we got some depth at defensive end. I still don't want him hurt. Do something like this. Oh, ah, dang it. Fumble. Oh, he stepped out. Dang it. So what play did they call there? They went halfback direct. Yeah, it's a good play. I didn't do it. I didn't help out there either. Uh, we can do something like this. If I knew they was going to run the ball, then yeah, I'd rather control a defensive end because... My tackling is my weakest point, controlling anybody on the back end. Somebody get a stop there, or not. First down. Well, QB draw. Here they come. Let's see what they do here. Call something goofy. Right up the gut. Good tackle. Well, but he still gets an easy five yards. Seven yards on that one. Well, I'm going to do another zone blitz. Do something like this. Please don't run it to the left. Good pickup on the blitz. Wow, great play. Neither one of those defenders got in front of it. Now they're going to call something goofy here. Probably up the gut again. Halfback read. They'll probably hurry up again. Nope. We're going to do another zone blitz. Harrison is not back yet, unfortunately. It said they was going three wide. That's why I, I swear I hate when it does that. Bumble it. That's an impact guy on impact guy there. Third and two. I'm going to do a, just an all-out blitz here. Just a good play by the impact court or wide receiver. It was a one-on-one -on -one situation. We couldn't get to the quarterback in time. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well. So, at least we're up. Going to be up 10 still. So, two minutes and 28 seconds. I'm going to try to run clock and still get first downs. This game ain't over with yet. Not close. Anything. I mean, there's still way too much time left.
Let's go here. This is my onside kick. He'll just kick it between everybody, I think, or he'll just catch it. That's fine. Let's get down. Uh, let me do that. Let's do a slam. We're going man dime. We should get a decent push here, you would think. I'm still going to go. Uh, ah, dang it. I had to go. No, I had no choice there. Stay in bounds, maybe. Second and four. Let's do a toss with Williams. We're going zone 4 3. We're going to let that clock run some. Get it down as much as we can. If we can get one more first down, then they'll start calling more timeouts. I don't know how many they have left. We can check here. They got all three. Yay. They'll use them. I got to keep going to the right just because our left side so bad. Third and two. I'm going to go offensive line on this one. I'm going to go back to a toss. We're going to do it with Forte. They're going man 5-2. We'll just go back to the right again. Do it quickly. Stay in bounds. Ah, dang it. That's okay. We still got the first. Minute 44. I only got Laveris. I know you said it a hundred times, and I, I agree with you. But I don't have many halfback directs to work with. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, there's not very many of them. I got this one. I've never been a fan of the halfback direct from Gun Bunch. We can try it. But look what happens. They're going 4-3 against it. The clock has stopped. Let's see what we can do with it. Get a block there. Pretty good. Just don't fumble it. First of 10 on the 13. Also, I would love to run a lot more halfback direct, but I'm afraid I'll get chastised for it big time. And I understand. Oh, let's go QB choice. Let's do an off tackle one run. Zone nickel. The clock has stopped since they called the timeout. Get a block. That's Williams again. He's gassed. Let's flip it. Let's go QB choice. Again, I'm, I'm going to run to the right side every time. Now, they shifted hard, so we can bring somebody else over if needed. Do something like this. Does that help anything? Maybe not. Let the clock run some more. Get it down to a couple of seconds. Stay in bounds. Try to. They call it a timeout. Third and one on four. We can just go something like this. Since we're practically in the on the goal line. They're going man nickel. And they're doing that. Oh gosh. I got no choice but to go left now. I'm gonna do something like this. Get that free safety off my halfback. Something like that. That helped. It helped. It helped. I'm running clock. Face mask to go with it. They didn't call it. All right. We did it. Good. The game's over with. So hopefully you see what I've done right there. I moved this uh, tight end, which is our fullback. I moved him over so this free safety could cover him instead of covering my halfback. So now we got this guy defending our halfback. It's either him or the strong safety. I don't really remember. I just switched defenders is all I've done right there. I did not want that impact safety defending our halfback in that situation. 33 to 17. Let's go up 17 points here with an extra point. And we'll wind this thing down. At the end, I don't I don't need to forget somebody needs to say I knew somebody would come up and say that. It's cheese when it works. I know. And it's not cheese when it doesn't. If <laughs> that makes sense. Do something like that. If I could get a touchdown after every time I call direct, I would call it cheese, but it's not. But it's powerful if done correctly. Uh, let's go. Oh, let's do a zone blitz. Thankfully, it's not a guaranteed run, a good run in, on Heisman, at least. Sometimes it just gets stuffed. 
Oh, come on. That's terrible. He's going to get his first down. That is true. <laughs> I got this thing on mag sliders. Oh, dang. It went the wrong way. Good play by the quarterback. They should have done that earlier. We're going to keep calling the same stuff, I'm afraid. Get over the line if you can. Going the other way. Oh, he got stuck. <laughs> we got lucky there. He got stuck on his tight end. I'll stick with the same play. I don't have my defensive audible set up, I don't think. Which round is he going this way? Ah, good play by the quarterback. Cut up. First of 10, they're going to call the same thing over and over again. That's just... They never fix the late play for the CPU. Good stop there. It doesn't matter. We're, we're up 17. Should be the last play of the game. They'll call the same thing again. Ooh, good fake pitch. Offsides. So you, I don't think you can end the game on a penalty. They're going to go second and five. They're going to accept it. And now they're going to go with a Hail Mary. They may score a touchdown here. We'll do something like this. I don't know if the halfback stays in to protect or not. Nope, he's going out with it. It's not even Hail Mary. I thought they'd go to the end zone, but they didn't. <laughs> Whatever. All right, game over. 34 to 17. It was ugly, but we got the second half was got a whole lot better than the first. We could check the stats. And you got to remind me, once we get done with this, I'm going to go switch out our playbook. I'm going to fix that. Let's go to stats and scores first. 397 to their 322. Ended up being kind of an offensive uh, battle toward the end, just in terms of the uh, yards, I guess. They still, we kept, we did a good job keeping them out of the end zone. They ran the ball really well. We ran the ball really well. Uh, yes, we had way too many injuries today, unfortunately. Passing yards, 209 to their 138. Uh, we done a little bit better on third down towards the end. Uh, we have one bad turnover, and that was an interception, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the rest of that don't say a whole lot to me. Individual stats, 16 at 26, 204, two touchdowns, one interception. He was just okay. Just okay. Nothing great, but just okay. Forte ended up really running the ball well towards the end. I wasn't expecting him to have that many yards, but I guess that second half, he had a couple of big runs that he, uh, uh, that accumulated to that. Uh, that's the wrong word. But it attributed, let's put it that way. Williams, just not a very good average. I just don't know if I picked the wrong plays or not, but that's okay. Receiving, Cooper led on that, of course, and both in yards, receptions. Uh, Williams and Cooper both had a touchdown apiece. Defensively, Goosby, this isn't good when your strong safety leads and tackles. Not the way our defense is set up. He's not supposed to lead in tackles. But that's what happens when you run out of linebackers. Harrison, he can't, He did come back or was going to come back, so that's not a serious injury. So that's a good thing. He led in sacks. We had an uh, interception by Goosby and by Stamper, which was myself. And you go to the box score. Ugly first quarter. We got a touchdown lead at a half. They played better in the third, but we took advantage of it in the fourth quarter and ended up getting the win. All right, let's get out of here. I need to make two adjustments. We need to go to the playbook. I'm going to switch out gun five wide for gun spread. And then I got to go to my depth chart maybe and just check out a couple things there. So let's go ahead and simulate this week. I'm going to speed this up. Now's a good time to ask questions or anything before I head out of here. What time is it? It's 847. What's the Monday Night Football game doing right now? That's another reason why I've done it right now. I could care less about the Bears or the Patriots. I don't, they're just neither one of them is my team. I just don't care what they do. Uh, let's go to uh, playbooks. Let's go here. Let's go to not audibles, even though I could I could fix things, but my offense doesn't really need them. I'm going to back out. Let's go playbooks. Uh, I don't, yes, I'm, I'm not worried about the saving part just yet. Let's go, uh, let's go gun spread. I could do an F1. We could try that. Saving the state just in case something goofy happens. Uh, let's go gun trips here. Thanks for that, Kooky. Uh, let's go uh, gun trips. I don't want to... Uh, we can save that for now. That's fine. Uh, let's go to our roster. Let's go to depth chart. 
I'm okay with left tackle. Let's see. I heard you're secretly an Ole Miss ran. Where can I send you a jersey? Uh, no, not hardly an Ole Miss fan. No, uh, I'm sure that you're being sarcastic with that. Uh, yes, Carpog, we got no choice. Crowpog, we got to keep him there. It was the linebacker position, middle linebacker is what I was worried about. He's out for three weeks. He's coming back, but we're going to have to put Nixon in there. We've already burned his red shirt, so we got no choice at this point. We're going to do that. So I made sure that was correct. So next thing we can do is we can go to recruiting. Let's fix this first. Do we got to do anything here? Center. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because we got a bye week. I'm going to go ahead and send that. That way for the next stream, we'll be right ready to go for the Houston game. So let's go to end season recruiting. The center, we're in great shape here. He's got it down to his top five. Wide receiver, we're number one on his list, top five. We just can't figure out what he's into. Same for this guy, tackle, just not a whole lot of information. And middle linebacker, John Larson, just not enough information. But we are number one on all of their lists in about a wide margin, which is good. I'm not going to go through all the Sports Illustrated stuff this week. There's really no point. Now, we can, I mean, we can look at the top 25 for the week. Kind of notice to see Iowa, Ohio State, and Purdue, Alabama won, UCLA, let's say Georgia Tech. Just looking for any big upsets. Tennessee won, Florida State got upset. Uh, let's say Texas Tech over UConn, Michigan, USC, LSU, Arizona State, uh, NC State, Kansas State, Texas, Missouri, and Auburn and uh, Virginia. So it looks like there wasn't any big upsets, and that was like the Game of the week, I guess. In your opinion, how long do you think Deion Sanders is going to stay at Jackson State? I'm saying he may be going somewhere else next year. Auburn or somewhere. Uh, Nebraska honestly needs to look at him. I think he could be a, a program-changing dude just for his presence alone. But I think he's a pretty good coach. He's dominating down there. My guess is he's going to leave this year, but who knows. All right, we checked that. I don't think there's anything else I really need to see. So let's just go ahead and... I'm going to sim this week right here. We'll get this one situated. Then we're going to get ready for the Houston game. Seems like a good idea to do it this time instead of at the beginning of the next video. Hurry this up. Thank the Lord for an emulator where you can speed a lot of this up. And, yes, we got Houston coming up, and we're going to check that here in a little bit. So let's go back to recruiting. We'll go here and... We didn't have a game. That's the only downside to a bye week. You can't impress anybody, but we're going to look and see if anything has changed here. Well, at least we learned something else about uh, the tackle, but done nothing else about the other guy. So we're still kind of in a good uh, state of affairs with all four of them. Let's see, whoever's coaching after Dion when he leaves, it's pretty big shoes to fill. He seems to be like a pretty good dude who can run a program, but that's a big jump going from like the Jackson State to like Auburn. I don't know if he'll make that big of a jump, but he needs to eventually. Just don't know when. I think we're ready to go. I mean, yeah, one thing we can check again, we can look at the uh, week five uh, top 25 scores. So you got Auburn over, uh, or Florida over Auburn, you know, Arkansas over Alabama. That's an upset. NC State wins. Virginia won. Then you got uh, Georgia Tech, South Carolina, UCLA, TCU. All those were clean. Uh, Purdue, Michigan, Iowa. Tennessee over Georgia. Then you got Ohio State, uh, Miami. So no real big upsets there except for like a couple. Nothing special really happened at that point. All right. Uh, let's see. Houston is our next one. Let's see. Only place I could see him jump to is like Florida State. Yeah, that's possible. Um, I don't know if they're ready to get rid of another coach, though. I think they may stick with what's-his-face for a couple more seasons, even though I don't think he's the guy to take him back to the promised land. Let's put it that way. Uh, okay, next game is Houston. Uh, this is going to be tough. They're 2-2, two and two, so they may have the same problem we're having. They got injuries or something, or they played some really good teams. Who knows? Uh, but hopefully we can get the win. Uh, looks like they run, they passed the ball fairly well. They rush defense, looks okay. But the rest of it is just not so much. We may have a chance to actually win this one. Uh, okay, let me read the chat room for a little bit, then I'll head out on out. 100% stays. I don't see prime time leaving for at least a few years. He loves being in a historical black college community. 
Yeah, unless he just sees the money and, you know, Nebraska throws a lot of money at him or something like that, that's quite possible. But who knows? It's got to be the right fit, right time for him. I think he, I think Neon Dion loves him some Neon Dion. And I think the more, uh, more prime time he gets, the more, uh, more attention he gets from everybody, the more he likes it. And he's going to get a lot more attention if he goes to the FBS to a bigger school. That's just my guessing. Uh, yes, I think he's got a good heart about some things, but I also think he loves Sam some Dion. Uh, yes, anybody can transfer whenever they feel like it, so it doesn't matter. He ain't going to leave anybody. That five-star uh, halfback that came in this year, he can just follow him wherever he goes. That's probably what's going to happen. Let's see. But who knows what's going to happen to him. All right. I am done for the night. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed this. Thankfully, we got the win, and we're going to head into the next Dynasty video and take on Houston. Hopefully, we can take care of business there. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.